you. The uh, two government sponsored enterprises we're talking about here, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, are not in a crisis. All right, so there he was. That was three years ago. Uh, Barney Frank and other Democrats on Capitol Hill saying there's no crisis and there's not going to be one, and the Treasury's not going to have to bail anybody out. John McCain was the one who was saying uh, wrong. Well, Megan, I, I appreciate the opportunity to talk about what got us into this mess because, you know, frankly, there has been quite a bit of deregulation and people not minding the store. And as a result, we're in this terrible position where we've got to get something done. But, you know, today, over the next couple of days, this isn't about pointing fingers and assigning blame. And I understand that that's about all the McCain campaign is capable of doing right now. But what we need to do is bring folks together and actually get something done. That's why Senator Obama today proposed... <laughs> You know, a new idea. He injected something new to try to get more people on board, which is raising the amount that's insured in banks by the FDIC from $100,000 to $250,000. Yeah, they're both for that businesses. now. Both Obama and McCain are for that now. But let me ask you, Bill, because you didn't really answer my question. Your candidate went out on the campaign trail yesterday after the House vote in Colorado and declared that McCain, quote, had fought against common sense regulations for decades, saying he's called for less regulation 20 times just this year and ripping right. on McCain for being behind these problems we're watching. But meantime, McCain was the one who wanted more regulation for Fannie and Freddie. <laughs> I, I think that the claim that uh, McCain wanted more regulation in that one bill that he happened to sponsor has actually been debunked as having any impact at all on the problems that Fannie and Freddie had later on. It didn't McCain because it didn't pass. His his, 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 McCain has been a deregulator his entire career. He said, I am fundamentally a deregulator this year. He also said that deregulation probably helps the economy this year. Senator Obama has been for, you know, having accountability and transparency on Wall Street so that we can keep close track of what's happening in the transactions and make sure that our financial institutions don't fall victim to, you know, poor leadership in the, in, in the market and make sure that the government is keeping close tabs on, on what's happening on Wall Street so that we protect folks on Main Street. Bill, so there's no question I don't think that, that there's any question. There's, there's no question that John no McCain question has, about has not been a big deregulator. No, there's no question that John McCain has not been a big deregulator. But, but I want to press you he on this. Been, that's right. Because on this issue, it's clear. This is a quote from John McCain back uh, in 2006 sure. if con about Fannie and Freddie. If Congress does not act, American taxpayers will continue to be exposed to the enormous risk that Fannie and Freddie pose to the housing market, the overall financial system, and the economy as a whole. And he urged his supporters to support reform legislation. Barney Frank and others, Democrats said, nonsense. How on earth can Barack Obama blame John McCain's deregulation, his normal deregulation stance? Uh, how, can, how can he blame this crisis on that, given this statement? There's actually another pretty good example of McCain's failed leadership, because as you mentioned, it's something that uh, didn't pass. And I'll, you know, when I get back to my office, I'm going to email. When I get back to my office, I'm going to email you the stories about the fact that that would have had nothing to do with the problems that Fannie and Freddie had later on. Yes, he was he was trying to do something, but it had nothing to do with the problems that Fannie and Freddie had. And he is fundamentally a deregulator, as he had, well, he had what said. What was Obama himself. doing at the time, Bill? Uh, Obama has been there from day one since he got to the United States Senate, making sure that there has been accountability and transparency when it comes to our financial institutions. He's long record. And so I, I don't think that there is a difference, There's that anyone could fail to see the difference between Obama and McCain when it comes to who's for making sure that we're keeping close tabs, making sure that there's accountability, making sure that there's transparency in our market, versus John McCain, who has been uh, absent okay. when it comes to that. But Got like it. I said, today is a Got day where we need to come bill. together and get this done. Thanks so much for being here. And he did give us the headline.